as a few minutes ago, uh, we just announced that uh, we've traded Don Dwyer to Orlando City. Um, to get into the specifics of the deal, it's it's uh, it's the largest um, intra-league trade ever in Major League Soccer history. Um, it's a uh, total deal of $1.6 million, where 900000 of it is uh, guaranteed within uh, GAM and TAM money. And then the other seven hundred thousand um, dollars are in incentives, um, which we feel very confident and comfortable that the the player will achieve them, um, and that uh, obviously those those monies will be acquired um, over the next uh, one to two years. And so uh, obviously it's not it's never an easy decision when you're when you're moving a player, um, and especially a player like Dom who's had so much uh, impact, positive impact into our club, on the field and off the field. Uh, so from that perspective, it's going to be very difficult to see him go. At the same time, and, and, and for his service, and, and again, for his service on the field, for his service off the field, um, we thank him and we wish him no, nothing but the best. At the same time, um, I think it's very important to understand as well that when you have a successful organization, um, people are going to be interested in the individuals within your organization. and. So we have fielded multiple calls on Dom, and, and we do on other players on our team as well. And uh, you know, this 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 situation escalated to a point where was there a deal that we actually really had to consider. And uh, um, unfortunately, you know, sometimes just the way it goes in the salary cap world. But at the same time, we're provided with a bunch of resources that we'll be able to use not only in the short term but also in the long term to continue to um, look at. The, the fluidity of, of any MLS roster um, and for us to continue to keep trying to improve it. So uh, at the same time, I, I want to make it clear that when we're making decisions like this, um, we always take um, two very specific things into account, our team and our fans. And we understand that uh, Dom has been a very important player to our team um, over the time that he's been here. Um, and that was not you know out of the consideration. We thought about all of those things. But um, at the same time, I think that these resources have been uh, are, are going to be used in a way that's going to help to uh, continue to help us evolve our team and, and our roster. And um, so from that perspective, it, it, it made sense for us to make the decision. It must be one of the harder things for you with this side of the business in the sense that you drafted this guy when a lot of other people passed on him. You developed this guy. He scored a lot for you. I mean, it's got to be one of the tougher parts uh, about your job. It is. It, it is. It's very. T it's very difficult from that point of view because you know I, I know that everybody thinks that coaches don't have hearts and you know they're they're just cold and whatever. But you know I, I like to think that Dom and I have a pretty good relationship. Um, as you said, you know nobody was really um, putting any any uh, confidence in the fact that uh, uh, they thought he was worth a pick and, and and we picked him because we felt that he had. Um, some some incredible talents and and he's obviously proven that and so you know I, as I said to him over the years I'm proud that he's become the player that he is and he's also he was also a, an incredible uh, ambassador for Sporting Kansas City and so you know as as he understands too I think that you know this is it's the sports world it's the business that he's in as well and I think that you know and I don't want to I don't want to speak for him but I think he understands that um, these things are possible at times but. Um, the relationship not only between him and myself and, his, and the team and the organization, but the fans, it's a good one. And, uh, and uh, he, I think he should leave uh, being proud of that. He always represented himself well and played very well for us on the field. And, and so uh, it's, it's, it's not a parting of where, you know, there's other partings, right, where things are bad. And this is not one of those situations. Where does this leave you guys? Uh, obviously, he's been starting at, at striker for you guys. Where, where does that leave you? Well, let's let's not let's not uh, make any bones about it. Obviously, he's, he's he's a good player on the field. It's hard to replace players like that um, right away. I also have a lot of confidence in the players that we have on our current roster. Um, but as I said earlier, the the roster is never done. It never has been done, and it never will be done. Um, it's something that we constantly look at to try to improve. And uh, whether we do something now or in, in you know uh, the next window or what have you. We're, we're constantly looking at those opportunities and, and targets that are out there and guys that we have always felt um, could fit our team. And so now, you know, two things. One, we have a player that's now moved on that was in that position. And the other is we have a bunch of resources that hopefully can help us uh, acquire um, another player at some point. Um, I don't know if it will be in this window 
or it'll be in the next. Um, but again, our, it's not like we haven't been looking, um, and we're always making sure that we stay on top of that because it's a the, the roster is a fluid um, it's a fluid document as far as I look at. Anybody in particular you're looking at? Uh, sure, but it's it's not something that I would uh, actually discuss because I think whenever you do and you do it publicly, I think what happens is it. it it messes up the waters when when you are talking to players or or the representatives. So, um, but I will tell you that we've already were talking about talking to those players prior to all this stuff as well. It's just something that we're constantly doing. Good. Can you talk about Chicago Saturday real quick? Sure. Uh, best team in MLS. Um, Got to give them a lot of credit. They have a a style of play. Um, they're very, uh, they have a, um, uh, a, an identity that I'm, uh, uh, I like, and I think the way that they play is, is, is good for our league. Um, I think they have a, uh, they've had a lot of veteran players to their, to their team, which instantaneously gives them uh, uh, a lot of experience. And so I think because of that, they were, they've been, over, over, been able to overcome the fact that they have new players in their team because they have so much experience there with older players. Um, and, and they do two things well, is that they, uh, they possess the ball well and they can score goals.